okay uh, got it pretty good when you uh, drill holes in uh, epoxy and the lead weights it also affects the balance a little bit too so uh, when you finally get them all in you have to rebalance it a little more too so anyways I've already put in some epoxy epoxied in some lead weights right here right here and on the other side now I'm getting really close now watch this I can let it sit right here ah still pulls back there it's a pretty heavy rotor it's not very easy to balance. This is about three hours I have into it now. going back just a little bit now I think I'm going to glue in the uh, all the weights now because that's pretty close it just pulls back a little bit okay. spin it stop it it's going slow Pull back. Do it again. Just that much pull back. Can I watch? Uh, I put this down. back it settles down here put it up here settles right there put it over here settles over there so it never settles in the same spot I haven't got the pullback out hundred percent but it does settle in different spots okay now it's settling down there now it's settling over here Now it's settling down here. So at least it's settling in different spots now. That's pretty balanced. I'm going to have the big bearings. Uh, the little bit of pullback you see is just going to be canceled out by the friction of those big bearings. Okay, now stop, and that's how the yeah, there it goes. Uh, it's also settling in a different spot again. Now it wants to pull back up here. So, 
I'm going to call that good. I have a total of eight weights on each side of this rotor and the other rotor.